visible. concerned about somebody else getting there. Amen, somebody. Ask the neighbor, who did you invite this morning? Amen, amen. I was expecting to see Brother Donald. I was expecting to see him. Amen. I, I was expecting to see him. Amen. See, this is how the enemy works. He will work on you. And get you complaining, mumbling, and grumbling. Yes, he will. And while you're doing that, he's soaking all the life out Amen. of you. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. why you got to be a soldier. Right. You got to be a soldier. Yeah. I, listen, I, I come to church sick. Amen. I come to church down, can't make it. Somebody have to help me in the house. I, I listen, 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 I refuse to be defeated. If I, listen, one thing I always say, if I could just get there, I'd right. be like that woman with the issue. I am so kind of like you. I'm like that woman with the issue. If I just get there, I, 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 I'm confident. I, I'm confident that I will get whatever I need. I just press my way. 
I know I'm going to be healed. I know I'm going to be delivered. I know, but see the enemy say, listen, you sit there, you sit there, and let people talk you out of it. Let them say this, let them say that, and you taking it in, after a while, he got you. And that's exactly what he wants. See, a soldier will press his way. Soldier get his arm shot off, he's still fighting for his country. He get his leg cut off, he's still fighting for his country because he was born a soldier. He was burnt out a soldier and God needs some soldiers. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Where are the soldiers at? You got enough wince. And the enemy doing everything he possibly can fight right. against That's the church right. of God. Yes, he is. But when I go back to God, I still hear him say that the gates of hell shall not uh -huh. prevail against yes. his church. Hey, hey. And it's going to take the soldiers to take a stand. Yeah. And shut down the weapons of the enemy. Shut down the mountain of the enemy. We ain't begging God to do it. God said, I'll arm you. Yes. And he said, when you speak. Yes. You flow from him. He said, you can speak to mountains. Yes. And it must obey you. Yes. You can speak to situations. And it must obey you. You can speak to atmospheres and it must obey you. You can speak to your bank account. You can speak to whatever it is that's opposing against you and it must obey you. God breathed the breath of life into man. Yes, thank you, God. And from that breath, man controls his whole life. The enemy say, if I can shut it down, mm. then I'll have the upper hand, but a soldier will take a stand. Right. You may hit me on one side, I'm still coming. Right. You may hit me on the other side, I'm still coming. Right. You're not going to stop me. Yeah, talk about whatever you want to talk about about the church. I'm still going right. because the church needs me. The church needs me. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had some echo on that one right there. The soldier, the soldier, look at how I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna calm down, I'm gonna calm down, I'm gonna calm down. Look at somebody tell them the church needs me. The church needs me. Because God has authorized me. Right. Right. And it ain't good being a teacher. You gotta go. Come on, come on. It ain't good, baby, until you got a good fight. When, when, when the devil knows you a fight, he, he, oh God, he know he don't stand a chance. All I had to do was fight one time in school. And when I had that one fight, everybody backed up off me. But as long as I was sitting there and just taking everything everybody said, and I did that all the way up to about high school, until I turned around and said, listen, enough is enough. Absolutely. I'm about to whoop somebody. That's right. I don't know who. That's right. And I realized when I whooped that one, that I had some friends and everybody backed off me. And I said, was that all it took? When the devil know you will fight back. Right. When the devil know you will fight back, then you ain't gonna just sit there and let him walk all over you. <laughs> He'll say anything to run you. But when he knows you'll fight back, he backs down. You talk about the preacher and everybody else, I ain't got nothing to do with me. Talk about the one in the pew all you want to. That ain't got nothing to do with me. The church need me. What's wrong with them is glory to God, the enemy got the upper hand. But I'm going to step in and I'm going to kick the devil that's kicking them. Come on. Right, right. Come on, I'm not going to side with the devil. Right. I don't care what he's coming with. Yeah. I'm not going to side with him. These are my brothers and sisters. Right. And I ain't going to let you just have them. Come on now. 
Oh God, he said, if I had a church that would stand like that. The enemy used people like God used people. Which side are you off? At the end of the day, we all belong to the Father. Oh, glory to God. And God said, I need a people that will stand. You was in the street, you fought. You did whatever you had to do to survive. Now you get in God and become a wimp. You ain't doing no justice. You just well gone back there. Because if I can fight in the street, dog go here, I come down. You done picked the wrong one. You get your hand up off my brother. Get your hand up off my sister. And I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna encourage him. Tell him, come on, baby, we going. Come on, we going. Come on, we going. This is a trick. The devil wants you, but I ain't gonna let him have you. You come on, get in this car, let's go. Oh, we. Paul said, encourage your brothers and sisters. Encourage them. Don't just sit there and let them. No. I'm going to take a chance whether you come or not. At least I'm going to take the chance. I'm not going to just accept the no. They taught us when I used to do uh, MLM. They taught us that, that it doesn't matter how many no's you get. They're going to be there one yes somewhere. And, and we had a pep rally every morning, pepping ourselves and preparing ourselves for what we were going out to do that day. And I said, the church needs to get a pep rally yeah. in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 glory to God. That's why, that's why you see us right here hollering and screaming, because that breath of God stirs up an atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. And when you get that atmosphere stirred up, you can go out and shut down anything. You stir that energy yeah. up. Yeah. Right. That's how they get them to walk on calls. Because once you stir it up in the God energy in you, you can accomplish anything. Yeah. Yeah. But if you just sit there and die, all your spiritual energy goes down. And you can't do nothing. Yeah. Absolutely right. Right. You got to keep it stirred because God, he breathed the breath of life in you. Yeah. So you are the one. That's got to keep that breath stirred. Yes. Hollow, scream, yes. stir it up. Yes. Yes. Thank you, God. And declare your atmosphere to be what you desire it to be. Yes. And don't accept no from me. Shanda Boko de Bess. Go to my house. I said, This is what I'm looking for. It's easy to complain. It's easy to mumble and grumble about stuff. Because the enemy knows as long as you talk that way, he got you. The Bible says, listen here, glory to God. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. See, this is a spiritual battle you need. Right, right. This is not a flesh battle. When you go down to the flesh realm, you have to the weapons of our warfare uh -huh. are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down a stronghold. You can shut it down quicker in the spirit right. than you ever can in the flesh. The level that created the problem is not the level that can heal it. You got to be raised to a higher level. And that's the God level. You get in the God level, honey, you will not allow the enemy to shut you down. You won't sit around and talk about your brothers and sisters. If I ain't got nothing good to say. I ain't got nothing to say. I'm going to encourage them. I'm going to help them. And if I can't help them, I'm going to shut up and pray for them. Because my desire is that none would perish. I speak like my father. Oh, y'all come to message. If I'm imitating God, I'm going to talk like it. I'm going to walk like it. I'm going to live like it. I'm going to love like it. 
because I am of my father. Yes. And I do what I see my father do. Yes. Jesus said, I do what I see my father do. Yes. And he told the disciples, when they receive you, they receive me. Yes. When they receive me, they receive the father that sent me. Yes. We are a trickling effect yes. in the house of God. Yes. Look at somebody slap them, tell them you're a soldier. Get up and fight. Get up and fight. What are you fighting? You're fighting the good fight of faith. God said, when you read this picture as well, New Living Translation, he said at the end of the battle, at the end of the battle, you will steal. In the Mabotanakanda. You will be still standing. You will. Becky, you will. My sister right here, you will. Be still standing. But I got to work it. Like he worked it. God spoke and it was. And then he said, let us make man. Not as the Walker team was in it. But in our own image. There's nothing greater to create him by than ourselves. And the fact that he did that, my brothers and sisters, that tells you you are a powerful spirit being. There's nothing you can't do. There's nothing you can't be. There's nothing you can't have. It's how you utilize what God has given you. He said, let them have dominion. God is dependent on us. We are to occupy here. He said, earth has he given to man. And we are to occupy here. We are to dominate. He told us, listen, I bless you. Yes. And command you to be fruitful and multiply. Yes. Replenish the earth. Yes. Keep it. Till it. Yeah. 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 You have been authorized in this earth yeah. by God himself. Yeah. That's why Jesus didn't let the enemy just walk all over him. Yeah, he was around him. But he turned around and says, listen, I gave you power to tread amongst them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke 10, 19, I gave you power. Jesus said, I gave you power to do it just like me. Yeah. Don't sit up there and get scared of the snake. Don't get scared of that demon. I gave you power to tread among them because the power that you possess is greater than all the enemy's power. Right. Yeah, thank you, right. And that's not even his. That belongs to God. But you can't let him disarm you. You got to know your power is greater. Can I get somebody to just read that for me so I can have some verification, some reference? Because I'm quoting scripture. I just, some of I just want you to quote it. Out of the word yourself. Luke 10, 19, King James Bible. And just follow this and then I'm going over to Isaiah 41 and 10 because God said, my people, they're too afraid. They're too scared. And, and he said, you got to remind them. Wow. You got to remind them. I, I, I'm saying, God, what, 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 what's going on? He said, you got to remind them. You got to remind them. He said, I resuscitated them and they allowed themselves to go right to back. To go back. Here. To go back. Wow, help us, Jesus. See, this is the thing with God. You can't sit up and play with the devil. That's right. Fear tolerated is faith contaminated. Yes, he will contaminate your faith. Yeah. You can't sit up and play games with him. Right. You got to know who you are. Uh -huh. Oh, glory. You can be right in the midst of them and be above them. Jesus was right in the midst of them and was above them all the time. And to show you how much beyond me was, he's sitting at the table having dinner with him. Yeah. And then turn around and say, go on and do what you're going to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on. Give me some of that. Right side. <laughs> you gotta hurry up and do what you got to do. <laughs> and made 
him nervous because he didn't have to call no name. Yeah. But the devil know. He kept, he kept eating. <laughs> but he's thinking that you don't know. That's why you got to know. That's good, Bishop. Who you are. That steak right there with you. Because except I lay down my life, the enemy will not stand a chance. While I'm eating this crab and lobster, you better hurry up. Because if I change my mind, oh, I need a scream check. Paul, Paul declared that we are not blinded to the enemy's tactics. You, you're supposed to know him before he even show up. You're supposed to know he's coming. And be prepared before he get there. Yes, yes. 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 thank you, God. Uh. Yes, be prepared. When we moved in our house, the first night we stayed, he tried to run us out. Mm. The first night, tried to run us out. But see, when you're armed, the weapons of our warfare. You're dangerous. The weapons of our warfare. Armed and dangerous. No FaceTime right now. Look at that. You got to know. Our weapons. Our yeah. come. I got you, devil. And I took a stand because God, uh, he showed me what was going on. So I, I, I said, listen. I went right in tongues and began to rebuke the weapons of the enemy. And we have problems no more, and it's been almost 11 years. Thank you, God. The enemy will sit up and run you if he can. Because uh -huh. he wants you to think you're defeated. Honey, you are, I wish you'd slap somebody and wake them up and tell them you've never been defeated. Never, never been defeated. Never been defeated. Never been defeated, mother. Never been defeated, mother. Jesus didn't come down through 42 generations for you to remain defeated. Right. He came and got you back. And connect you back to the Father. And he says in John chapter 1, I, I got you over there in Luke. He said in John chapter 1, verse 12, he said, To them that received me, to them I gave power to become sons. And watch this. He said, Even to them that don't believe on my name. Yes. But I gave you power. Somebody shout power. Power. Read 1019, King James. Behold. Behold. I give unto you. I gave you. Power. Listen here, the president didn't give it to you. What you mad at him for? Right. The, the, the boss didn't give it to you. What you mad at him for? Okay. Mad at everybody on the job. They aren't the problem. There's a spiritual wickedness happening. You're treading amongst scorpions and serpents. And the enemy wants your attention. But you can't get it to him. You got to let him know I know who I am. I know who I am. The Hebrew boy said, go ahead and turn up the fire. We know who we are. Right. You do whatever you got to do. We know who we are. Right. Go in there. We still are not bothered. Because we know who we are. And we, oh God. Girl, you better. When you know who you are. Right. You can go right in there and know that you will still be saved. I'm not afraid of you, God. He done turned it up so high that he killed his own people. And look around you. He killing his own people. And he wants you to be next. Don't give him that benefit. Glory to God. Who are you preaching to, Jesus? He wants you to be next. But you got to stand up and look him in the face. And slap him down. I still will not bow. When you turn up all that heat, you're killing your own soldiers. And, and, and Nebuchadnezzar was killing his own people. 
And them boys gone in there and had church. Never yeah. even sweat. <laughs> Didn't even bust. They had church. Didn't even sweat. Y'all, y'all helping me preach today. Yeah. Somebody, somebody been in that place. Yeah. 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 Didn't even sweat. Wasn't concerned about, baby, you better stop all that whining, complaining, and crying, and take a stand and know who you are. I tread a monster, but I have power over it. I don't have to run and hide, get in no corner, no way. I'd be right out there in the midst of it, because they need you. They need you. I wish you look at somebody and tell them they need you. If everybody going to run there, who going to stand up there and fight? Your mother. That woman told me either you come in here and get whooped by me or go out there and whoop them. I had a choice. And I don't want to have to stand before God as a whip. And God tell me you were in power to whoop all of them. And you didn't seek to whoop none of them. And I gave you power over it. Now you stand up here with me. You ain't got no business here. I don't want to just go to heaven. God just get me out of here. No, baby, you got a mission to fulfill. God is counting on you. Ain't no going to heaven. No, it ain't. You in heaven. You living from heavenly places right now. Stop all that laying around waiting to die. Get your behind up and live. Slap two or three people and tell them live. Live, 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 You ain't dying. Live, 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 live. That's right. You ain't dying. Get all that complaint out of your mouth. Get all the stuff you don't want to see come to pass. Get it out your mouth. And declare. Because all of that is the breath of God. And that's the power that you're utilizing improperly. Electricity is electricity, whether you use it properly or improperly. Right. It's going to work for you or against you. And the breath of God works for you or against you. The power, Proverbs 18, 21, the power of life and death is where? In my tongue. It's in your mouth. You got you to get out of there. Give me a towel. You got nothing up here. Somebody give me a towel. Thank you. Hallelujah. You, you got to open your mouth and stop declaring death and start declaring life. Don't look at the bank account and keep declaring broke. Declare wealth because God said wealth and riches are in your house. Do you know what house he's talking about? Right here. Right here. Right here. It's in me. Psalms 112 all day long, verse 2. It's in me. Wealth and riches are in you. <laughs> it's the belief system of being broke you took on. Come on now. And you talk about Jesus. Yeah. Baby, you yeah. stop talking about him. Because if you're not going to declare like him, and why call me Lord, Lord? Yeah. Why? Oh, this is Bible. I back you up with every scripture. I can back it up with a reference. Amen. Why call me Lord, Lord, and, and won't get out there and declare like I told you? Right. Come on, Bishop. Deuteronomy 30, 19. He said, listen here, all of heaven yeah. I call Jesus as witness to record that I placed before you. Yeah. See there, he put it all before you. And whatever you're pulling out is what it's going to be for you. Absolutely. Do I have anybody here? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Bishop. It's what you pulling out. Thank you. He said, watch this. Yeah. They bear record that I place before you life and death. Watch this. Blessing and cursing. And I told you, choose life. But the enemy will get you talking death. Yes, he will. I can't make it. He done took this away from me. He done took that away from me. Yeah, honey, as long as you keep talking about it, guess what he's going to keep doing? Take keep taking from you. Because you're giving it to him, Martin. That's it. That's it. Right That's here. Martin. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Can I talk about right. Martin? Right. Yeah. You gave it to him. You helped the enemy take your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Your mouth. Your mouth. That's right, Bishop. 
Oh, he did this and he did that. Okay, now what you doing about it? Right. What are you doing about it? Love me. Uh-uh. No. Wrong answer. No. Wrong, wrong <laughs> answer. Wrong answer. Oh, my Bible telling me he done placed all of this here in your hand. He told Moses, get up and get them people. And y'all stop sitting around here crying and complaining. And you stop praying to me. He said, get up and get them people and go on forward. You should have been crying. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. He said, what you need is already in you. Amen. You got it. You got it already. Yes. But long as an enemy had you with that little religious ritual, uh, he know he got you. Right. Take them people. As soon as he opened his mouth and declared, glory to God, the water stood up on both sides. God can't come down here and do it. He put it in you. Yes. He authorized you. Now, what you're doing with all the power he, possess, he giving you to possess? Yes. Somebody declare, no more fear. No, no more fear. fear. I'll take a stand against you now. In the name of the I'm a black child. I'm a black child. Of LDR. What is that, most high God? I'm a blessed child. I'm a blessed child. He took on all the curse. Yeah. He picked all that up on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. He took care of all of them. Yeah. Your sickness, disease, pain, suffering, he took all of it for you. Now you just going to sit here and pull it back down and take it off. Look at your neighbor, dog. No, no more. Fear, get out. Yeah. You don't live here no more. You don't live here no more. Take your bags. Take your bags. Get out. Get out. Get out of here. Thank you, That's why I put a slip on his door. You've been evicted. You and your mama now. Not the kids, too. The kids got to go to mama. Y'all okay with this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I gave you power to tread on serpents, to tread on serpents and, scorpions and scorpions and over all the power, and over all the power of, the enemy. of the enemy. And nothing, y'all got to hear what he said. And no thing, no this is not the president talking. So why you keep following CNN? Mm. Why you sit amongst them conversations, always sit around talking about that? Why are you letting the enemy come sit up in your presence and feed you a bunch of stuff and you agreeing with him? He's stealing from you. Don't agree with him. I agree with God. Somebody say it. I agree with God. Say it again. I agree with God. I make y'all interact because, because you're taking the breath. Of God, and you're declaring. And when I tell you to interact, you're interacting, and the enemy back up every time you say something. He got to back up. I believe in God. That's I it. He can't do nothing like that. I agree with God. I, I, don't, I don't care how, how she try to get you. When you sit up and say, I love my wife, she back up. <laughs> I love my husband. What? But don't you know? I love him. Yeah, he back up again. Right. I love he back up again. The more you agree with your father, yeah. the church is his bride. Yeah. And if you love him properly, I don't care what the enemy come up with. I love my father. Yeah. I love my father. He's my husband. And you need to keep doing that. The enemy say, oh, God, I can't do nothing with it. I can't get it. Got to whisper crazy stuff in your ear. I love him. And he said, oh, Lord, you a fool. Let me get away from you. <laughs> yes, he did. But that's where you want him. You don't want to be no pushover. That's right. You put a standard on your life. And the enemy will recognize. 
Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Uh, don't go here, but I'm quoting it. Y'all write it down and go later because I'm trying to keep going because I want to I want to stop. He, 8 and 4 in the 8 section of that scripture. He says, where the word of a king is. See, see, see. See, 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 see. Let me back it up in the New Testament. Let me back it up. If you go in the Amplified Version and go to Romans uh, uh, chapter 8, verse, no, chapter 5, verse 17, he says that by one man, Jesus, we reign in the Amplified Version, we reign as king. If you go to the book of Revelation, he picks it up again and it says, He has made us kings and priests. Come on, Bishop. So where the word of a king is, power. Come on. there's power. Yes. Where the word of a king are there any kings in here? Yes, sir. Ah! Somebody because somebody got religious on me. I'm going to help you too. He says, I am the king of kings. I'm going to go and shout by myself. See, that's what it do to me. This is what this do to me. Because he's telling me some stuff. That's why when God drops stuff on me, man, I holler. I can't help it. I just got to scream. Because that's a nugget. I am king of king. Yeah. So if that's not you, then start calling him your Lord. Come on. Come on. Wow. And Lord of, help me on, help me on. Lord of, you better know who you are, baby. You get rid of that religious ritual. Right. You go beg. No, he didn't tell you. Yo, let me help you with that one. And he was talking to He said that we come boldly. Bold. Oh, yeah. Bold. I don't like my kids come falling up on mama lap. I don't like it. But you know what? I just said, shut up. I don't like it. Because when you know who you are, you ain't going to be coming over here falling up on mama. You take a stand, child of God. Know who you are. And your tears of sorrow will become tears of joy. We've been in do it for a night, Bishop. But God. But God. But you got to know that. Because I wipe all the tears off. Because I need you to know. You can't sit here and keep crying. Can't sit here and keep moaning and groaning. Going off of what the doctor said. Going off of what the TV said. Going off of what the economy said. Going off of this. Nah, who your daddy? <laughs> who your daddy is? That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. Well, you know properly. You will declare properly. I'm uh, listening. I'm not taking this. I don't accept this. That's right. This is not my life. House, you lying to me. Pocketbook, you lying to me. Doctor report, you're lying to me. Court report, you're lying to me. I go with God. I go with God. You take uh, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah uh, 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 chapter fifty-four, and I think it's verse seventeen. And if you quote it in the in the in the uh, message translation, in the message translation, he says that anything that comes up against you in court, I will turn it into a lie. So you got no weapon. That's it. And you translate that down in the message translation. He let you know, listen, I don't care what the enemy come up with. If you take the stand, come on now. Yeah. I'll take care of it. But if you don't take a stand, I can't do nothing. I had an attorney that was supposed to be helping me, and he got me deeper in. I said, what I got you for? I don't need you. I'll find him. I don't 
don't need you. I could have did that myself. I said, God, what in the world going on here? You know this is not it. You know this isn't the truth. Come on now. Come on. I ain't going there and start crying. I, I got both. Just talk crazy. I, I do that now. That's why I tell people you don't want to hang around with me. Because if I get a moment, I might just start saying, you know. Because I ain't going to sit there and let the enemy tell me that stuff and have me hostage like that. And watch this. God took and touched a, another attorney's heart. Uh -huh. And had him to come down there, call my whole name. And took me to, to the judge's chambers. And he said, get out of here. Bye. See? You see? Throw oh. that stuff out. Ooh, glory. <laughs> but if you sit there, and let the enemy have you. Then you'll be sitting up in something that God said, I really could have got you out of that. But you didn't let me. And then we easily blame God like it's his fault. The world will blame God in a split second like it's his fault. No, it's a decision that you make. Because I gave you authorization. And if you do not choose properly, then it will not come out properly. God said, I know the thoughts that I have toward you. Jeremiah 29, 11. I know y'all know. See, this is what we got to go back to. Because you listen to too many other people and you ask them, how much are you in the word? How much real spiritual time? See, I'm not in religion. I'm a spirit faith person. Because religion is just detox with me. Because I didn't find no peace till I went into the spirit. So I detox the rest. And I'm I am spirit faith. Yeah, yeah. Alright. That's why the name changed. Because this is, we can't sit here and keep going off of these religious rituals. Amen. And everybody walking out the church. Because they done made man their God. Man is not your God. And then they get mad at me because I teach people against that kind of stuff. You don't sit up and do that. My job is to teach you who you are. So you can get up because you'll never get up if I keep on keeping you sin conscious. Now what happened to the church, and that's okay if you tune me out, if you keep a church sitting conscious, nobody can get up. Nope. Nope. Every Sunday, how much you smoked yesterday? How much you drunk last night? How many parties you went to? What kind of clothes you got on? That's religion. Jesus. That's all they want to keep you, sitting conscious. You ain't never good enough. Mm -hmm. right. And then I turn around. Who's on the boat? And hear Ephesians 2 and 10. Somebody go get it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Somebody get it for me real fast. I'm trying to kind of lean off of my, my notes up here because I don't really want to. Because God is doing something here. For we are God's masterpiece. No, wait. No. But if you always every Sunday keeping me sin conscious, how am I going to know I'm his masterpiece? Right. If you teach them better, they'll do better. Right. If you keep teaching them this other stuff, you're giving them a consciousness. And as a man thinketh in his heart, he'll always be. So if I don't give you nothing else and impart nothing else, then you'll stay sin conscious. And that's not what God wants. He that lives according to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. He that sows into the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. He that lives in the spirit will of the spirit reap life and peace. This is what he said. He said you have been made free from the laws of sin and death. And if that's the case, why I got to keep preaching the same stuff every week? Because what's happening with that is... It's keeping your sin conscious. Then I can get you up in here and fleece you. Thank you, 
Because I make a church full of slaves. And ain't nobody got nothing but the preacher. That's a lie out of the pit. Everybody's supposed to be blessed. If you're a child of God. If you accepted him as your Lord, baby, you're supposed to have the same. That's okay. You can, you can sit there. But I promise you, if you walk up in here, I'm going to tell you the truth. And the truth will make you free. If I take my babies and I feed my babies properly, my babies will not come out like the other stuff. But if I keep telling them the same stuff over and over and over, then he's going to have a curiosity. Why does he keep telling me this same stuff? Now my curiosity is kicking in. Jesus said, I come. John chapter 10, mm -hmm. that you have life. would have life. Yeah. And having, I love this in Amplified. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I love this in Amplified. Have it to the full uh, yeah. till it overflows. Yeah. Yeah. This is what God is because you are his child, brother and sister. Yes, I, am. I put a quote up the other day on, on, on social media. Do you really know what it means mm -hmm. to say that you are yeah. a child of God? Do you? No, 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 no. I ain't talking about what religion said. I ain't talking about what your mama and them and your grandmama and them said. I'm talking about what God said. Do you really know what that means? Do you know? I, if I say this, y'all gonna exactly know exactly where to go. What it means to be Bill Gates' child. Donald Trump, oh, yeah. Rockefellers, Dan right. Luna. Right. That's when you say that. What's the first thing come up? Be rich. Be rich. See what I'm saying? Abundance. Abundance. You don't see broke poverty. Sit down. Nothing. Scrolling and straggling. I don't like seeing my kids head all jacked up. And Clothes tore up from the floor up and yeah. holes in the shoes and you walk around here talking and, and stinking like you don't know who you are. I don't like it. I have a deep problem with it. Me too, Bishop. But if you accept that, then daddy can't do nothing about it. And that's the way it is with the father. If you accept something that he said you're not, then listen, he can't do anything about it. Because that's something you chose. And you're a free moral agent. It's what you choose. But when you know more and more of who you are, baby, you will go in, you will change your declaration. You will change your confession. I ask people about confessions and you get, you get a handful of people that will do it. Because they're too full of complaints. But I, I cast every complaint out of you in the name of our Lord. I command you to be free from poverty, fear, worry, stress, and depression in the name of our Lord Jesus. I declare you free from it. Whatever that thing is, cast it over to God because he wants you to live. And trust him to take care of it. Trust him to take care of your children. Take care of your husband. Take care of your wife. Take care of your business. Take care of your ministry. Take care of your money. Take care of everything. Because, because the enemy will use your children. He'll use your husband. He'll use your wife. He'll use your siblings. He'll use anything close to you. And watch this. Jesus' problem was not the outside. Jesus' problem was right at the table. Was right there inside with him. That was his problem. The enemy works with the closest thing to you. If I can't get you, I'm going to attack the next thing to you. Because the whole plan of the enemy is to shut you down. Because if he shut the main root down, he got the whole house. That's why you got to stand up for soldier. If one won't do it, 
That's why you there. Step in and do it. God always have a ram in the bush. Somebody yeah. can step in. But it takes them to take a stand and not fall over to the enemy. If you would be the seed of the house, he said, I'll save the whole house. Because of one person in the house. I come in here, I said, if one of y'all would pray, T.I. already do it. If one of y'all would join in the group, one can put a thousand, two can put ten thousand. But we can't be folded up and tore down by the weapons of the enemy and talk about what the devil doing. I'm not giving him the church. I don't care what he come up with. I will not give him because that is not what Jesus said. Well, it looks like everybody, and I get them pastors, they get to talking all this. We done lost 50% of the congregation. You know, people don't like. I said, they must be headed over to faith ministers on the yeah. national. Yeah. And they look at me like, yeah, well, you know, he, he you know, he a little off. <laughs> but that's okay. Because they called Jesus off. They called him all kinds of Because he didn't talk like them. And then when you don't agree with them, they, they kick you to the curb because you won't talk like them. Right. I'm not talking that. Right. I am of God. I have overcome this. I have overcome this. But greater is he. Greater is he. Greater is he. Greater is he. See, if you're one of the others, I, I get a good high five from you. But, you know, I, I don't want to. Throw too much power on your hand. I'd be, so, be like, because going like that. You have overcome. Where is he that is in you? I want somebody to say, Where is he that is in me? Where is he that is in you? Where is he that is in you? Where is he that is in you? You don't give it over to the devil in the name of Jesus. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold. But you got to be in his place. You got to know who you are. Lord, we got somebody just shout, I know who I am. I know who I am. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am happy. I am prosperous. I am successful. I am child of El Young. God is my father created in his image. After his likeness. In him I live. In him I move. In him I exist. There is no me without me. There is no me without him. I exist in him. I exist from him. I exist from him. As he is. So am I in this world. As he is. So am I in this world. Get back, devil. You don't stand a chance in here. Get back, devil. You don't stand You don't stand a chance in my health. You don't stand a chance in my marriage. You don't stand a chance in my children. You don't stand a chance in my grandchildren. You don't stand a chance in my business. You don't stand a chance in my community. You don't stand a chance in my neighborhood. You don't stand a chance in my city. You don't stand a chance in my country. You don't stand a chance in my state. You don't stand a chance in my world. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout at me.
I won't look back. I won't turn back. I'm going forward. I'm going with God. Against all odds, I'm going with God. Greater is he in me. Greater is he in me. Greater is he in me. Have faith in God. He said, I'm 
all you here to win. He said, I escaped you out for a reason. And you win. You win. You win. You hear me, boy? Believe me, what you received here this morning. 